हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एक्सप्लोर फिजिक्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द टर्म मैग्नेटिज्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फोर्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस अराउंड अ बार मैग्नेट एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ परमानेंट मैग्नेट एंड एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट today i'm going to explain you about the magnetic field lines around a straight current carrying conductor a circular loop of wire and a solenoid so without further delay let's start the class first we'll start with the magnetic field around a straight current carrying conductor see we have a straight current carrying conductor Let's assume we have a wire A B, which is connected to a battery and a switch or a key, right? So the current is going moving in this direction. It's already. shown we have one cardboard and see this wire is passing through the cardboard now the current is flowing through it because of the current the magnetic field is produced around this current carrying straight wire and if you just put some iron filing over it and just tap it here so like this the iron filing will be arranged in the form of concentric circles okay showing that when the current is passed through a straight current carrying conductor in this case a wire the magnetic field will be around the wire where the center will be, will be somewhere at the wire let's assume it's c here we are writing it here c so it will have the concentric circles around it what will be the direction whether these circles are uh, anti clockwise direction of the magnetic field line is uh, clockwise or anti clockwise it is given by a rule which is called maxwell's right hand thumb rule and what does it say it says then if you just hold the current carrying conduct like this where the thumb shows the direction of electric current then the curled fingers or curved fingers will show the direction of magnetic field lines or magnetic field i'm repeating it again if you just hold the current carrying conductor like this where the thumb shows the direction of electric current then the curled fingers will show the direction of magnetic field lines so we'll just apply the rule here this is the direction of current so the magnetic field lines will have the direction like this so the magnetic field lines direction will be this way anti clockwise okay so this is anti clockwise so the magnetic field will be produced around the straight current carrying conductor which will be the concentric circles where the center lies the center of the circles lies at the wire as you move away from the wire the circles will be bigger and bigger showing that the field strength or the strength of magnetic field is decreasing it is less stronger now as you are closer to the wire the magnetic field strength is more so this is about the magnetic field around a straight current carrying conductor i hope it's clear to you the direction of the magnetic field lines is given by the maxwell's right hand thumb rule when the current is moving up first we have seen that the, the magnetic field lines are in the anti clockwise direction 
I hope it's clear to you. This uh, Maxwell's right hand thumb rule is also called Maxwell's cork screw rule. So if you have the cork screw, you know, know the uh, appliance through which or the equipment through which we open the cork of the bottle. So if the cork screw shows the direction of electric current, then the curled fingers show the direction of magnetic field lines. If you see this, this is in clockwise direction. So now you know when the current is upwards, the magnetic field lines direction is anti-clockwise and when the current is downwards, the magnetic field lines direction is clockwise. So now we'll discuss the magnetic field around a circular loop of wire. So instead of one straight wire, we had made a loop of it. So it's connected say to a battery and there is one key or switch also is there. The direction of electric current is this way and it moves like this coming back the direction of electric current is this so we are going to discuss now the magnetic field around a circular loop of wire so what we are going to do instead of a circular loop complete loop we can divide it into two parts one say this is a straight wire and this is a straight wire only the direction of electric current differs say we have one cardboard through which this loop is passing through we have assumed that this circular loop is made up of two straight current carrying conductor one side is this and the other side is this and let it pass through a cardboard so it's going like this the direction of electric current is this way while coming it is this. Now it will have the magnetic field lines because of these two current carrying conductors. So here because it is going upwards again the direction of electric current is upwards. So the direction of magnetic field lines will be anti-clockwise. So the magnetic field lines will be concentric circles again. Like this, it's moving up for the direction of electric current. So, the direction of magnetic field lines will be anti-clockwise. And to this side, it will be clockwise. We had just discussed in the previous topic. So, here, the direction of these concentric circles, because the current is coming down, so the, this thumb shows the direction of electric current according to Maxwell's right hand grip rule and the curl finger shows the direction of magnetic field lines. So the direction of magnetic field lines will be like this, clockwise. So we have two straight current carrying conductors and the magnetic field lines pattern will be like this. If you just move away towards the center, the circles will be bigger and bigger and there comes a stage when they are almost parallel to each other. Here at the center of the loop these lines magnetic field lines are almost parallel to each other and the magnetic field strength will be strong. The center of the loop the magnetic field will be stronger. So as you move away from the wires, again the magnetic field will be feeble or weaker and weaker. This is all about the magnetic field around a circular loop where we had assumed that the two sides of the circular loop act like the straight current carrying conductor. So each side will have their concentric circle, the magnetic field lines. Here because the current direction is up first, the magnetic field lines will be anti-clockwise here the current's direction is downward so the magnetic field lines direction will be clockwise inside the loop the magnetic field lines will be almost parallel to each other showing that it has the uniform magnetic field 
so this is all about the magnetic field around a current carrying loop we are going to discuss now the magnetic field around a solenoid so before coming to the magnetic field around a solenoid i would like to introduce this clock phase rule to you and what is that according to the clock phase rule the circular loop of wire can be considered as a disk so one face will have one pole and the other side will have the other pole of a magnet now in the one face if the current is in this direction clockwise direction then that face is considered as south pole very useful rule because we will be applying it to explain that which side will have a which pole of a magnet so according to clock phase rule if in the wire the current is in clockwise direction that side of the wire is considered at the south pole and if the direction of the current is anti clockwise that phase is considered to be north pole of that this very handy you'll get to know just now i'm going to uh, apply this rule on in the solenoid case so here we have the clock phase rule so if one side of the wire is considered to be south pole the next then at the other side the back side or the rear side of the wire will be considered as the north pole so if in the front phase the direction of electric current is clockwise then that phase is considered to be the south pole of the magnet and the back of it or the or the opposite side of the wire is considered to be north pole of the magnet so this is clock phase rule now we we'll discuss about the magnetic field around a solenoid what is a solenoid it's an insulated copper wire with many turns which is wrapped in cylindrical shape so here we have again we are connecting it with a battery and a key or a switch this is negative and this is positive of the battery this is the key here the current is in this direction so here we have the direction of the current like this this is clockwise direction now just apply the clock phase rule here because the direction of electric current is clockwise so this will be considered as the south pole of the magnet and here this will be considered as the north pole of the magnet so here we had applied the clock phase rule now when the current will pass through it this solenoid also will behave like a magnet it actually behaves like a bar magnet we had already discussed in the previous class the magnetic field around the bar magnet so same thing will happen here what will happen in the bar magnet the magnetic field lines were coming out emerging out of north and going to south same thing will happen here this will emerge from north ends up at south so the magnetic field lines will be like this you can draw the magnetic field lines in this way i hope it's clear to you where it acts like a bar magnet and the magnetic field lines emerge from north and ends up at south same properties that these are the closed continuous curves where two magnetic field lines cannot intersect each other so all the properties of the magnetic field line remains the same and the pattern will be like the one which we had drawn for the in the case of bar magnet south and north pole the magnetic field lines coming from north ending up at south so inside the solenoid the magnetic field lines will be parallel to each other depicting that as a uniform magnetic field inside inside the solenoid the magnetic field will be very strong in fact soft iron core is placed inside the solenoid to magnetize it and to convert it to a magnet so this is the magnetic field around a solenoid so what did we discuss today the magnetic field around a straight current carrying conductor 
magnetic field around a circular loop of wire and magnetic field around a solenoid. We had also discussed about the Maxwell's right hand thumb rule, Maxwell's corkscrew rule and clock phase rule. That's all for the day. Stay safe, stay healthy and a very big thank to you. Do subscribe and like my channel if you like the content. Thank you. Bye-bye.